Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I was doing in Nashville, Tennessee, and we are back near the the bridge to intersection two. Um, I was just lighting up a little bit of it, and I figured I'd better start recording in case things got crazy out of hand. I think they just got regular out of hand, but that's okay, because I am now leaving all that down there in the dust, and I think that, uh... As much as I really want to just push further out this way here, getting in range of those gas spawners is going to be a fool's mistake. Um, I think what I probably want to do with those, wow, this place is so tall, is I probably want to get above them and drop TNT on them. And I've started harvesting TNT, uh, or not TNT, uh, glow, glowstone, uh, tobacco stone, no. It's not, it's one of those things that's bad for you. Gunpowder. Yeah, you're not supposed to smoke gunpowder. No. Children, take heed. But anyway, so I've been uh, collecting gunpowder from a lot of the creatures that I've killed so far. And I'm planning to use that. Let's see. I'm going to light up each of these signs as well. Um, I'm planning to use that gunpowder to uh, make TNT. To blow up those spawners. But I don't have enough so far. So let's go to the University of Arcane Enchants first, because when I scoped this out, it looked pretty interesting. Um, we have our little warning message there that I already read in the uh, Intersection 2 video. And I'm just going to run right in torches blazing. More torches, more blazing. Oh, there was apparently a cave collapse here, or this is just a very poorly lit road. By poorly lit, I mean it is literally inside of the stone. Although I suppose it's also possible that this is just supposed to be a balcony or a scenic overlook. I'm guessing that's the actual main building of the university. And so I might head out that way, see if I can register for classes. Although it seems like since they have, you know, closed down for business and told everyone to use their magical... Oh no, blazes. <clears throat> Yeah, well, I now see why it was bad that that student had that uh, nether portal accident. How did that not... Uh, these guys can be a little bit problematic. Okay, dealing with blazes... How am I so starving already? I've been running too much, I think. Luckily, I also brought some fish. So, no worries. I love me some never burning up signs. The fact that these don't have any sort of a du duration bar. I can just use them until I'm stupid enough to plant them in the ground. The way I like it. So, okay. <clears throat> Those uh, fellas there are going to be a problem. If I get close enough to uh, break their spawner, they're going to spawn more of them. But in the very least, I can wipe out the one that's already hanging out there. Let's go ahead and uh, splash potion heal, splash potion of regeneration. Let's throw the uh, Splash Potion of Regeneration, and now let's bolt out that way. Uh, this should keep the fire at bay. I just need to destroy this spawner here. All of these spawners here. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that's one less spawner here. And this one, this one, this one. Oh, I love me some regeneration. Hey, you know what you need to do? You need to get smitten with a sword. Okay, so yeah, potion of regeneration, pretty awesome. Signs, pickaxe, enchant, practical exam, rail tunnel. Future students will have an easier time getting around thanks to your efforts here. The faculty, or faculty, depending on how cultish these school of magic people are. So, huh, I don't want to probably press too far into here. That guy's dead. What does this say? Tenuous Crystals Outpost Dig. So I'm guessing this connects back to the Tenuous Crystals, which is fine, but not necessarily where I need to go right away. Although I love me a good tunnel, so let's go see where this goes. I should learn some tunnel enchanties. They make those, right? Are those still shanties if they're not about the sea? Maybe not. Maybe I should just learn some tunneling work songs. Um, wow, this is... Okay, you know what? Let's uh, go back and check that chest now that all this is lit up. 
before we dig all the way out here, because if this chest has some sort of magical tunnel in equipment, maybe I should grab that. Railway kit. It does not, but it does have a ton of glowstone and everything I need to make a train line. So, I do thank the itches for that. So, okay, well that's good to know. So let's go uh, bust through this. I feel like this won't put me into the tenuous crystals, though. Like, I feel like this will actually lead me the wrong way. Um, like, the tenuous crystals is back to the left, and instead, okay, we seem to be hitting some sort of man-made structure here. Is this going to bring me behind the fleecy box? Because if so, I'm entirely turned around. Lots of creatures spawning, I'll tell you that. Where did I come out? Did I hear, like, a creeper there? I thought I heard a creeper. Anyway, I really want to know where I come out here. So let's just, uh, mad dash this. We're just gonna eat ourselves a fish, and then embrace the spirit of the fish into the water with us. Into the water. Oh, you're kidding me. Wow. Okay, well, that's kind of convenient. Like, it's not incredibly convenient, but it's not so inconvenient. It's like... Huh. Well, that'll save me climbing up there. Good to know. So that's interesting. Yeah, I had this all mixed up in my head mentally. Um, I think I'm just going to leave most of this rail chest here for now, with the exception of the glowstone, because that will clearly come in handy as I try to light up the university itself. Let's go ahead and toss some of that right there for now. Get us going. Got some glass there. Let's go ahead and toss some glowstone on the outside of the... Well, Let's see if we can sneak a peek up here. You know, see what's going on. Well, that's not the way to use gravel in Minecraft. You gotta get on top of it. What's going on in here? Well, it's kind of dark. I have a solution to that, though. Still pretty dark. Don't really see anything of use. Okay, well, we tried. So, let's try the front door, then. We will go ahead and plant a few more blocks of random glowstone. No! No stone. Left unturned. A Joe Hills novel by Joe Hills. Dang it, more those things. No, I don't want to look at my menu now. Is that the blaze spawner box? That is mostly unfortunate. Oh, that is not my Z-Stonian battle sign either. That's a shovel. So, let's just uh, fix my inventory real quick. Get out our handy-dandy pickaxe. No, skeleton, you... I daren't let you oppose me. But, I will allow it. For right now. Um... What? Come on! Smitey McGee. So, uh, Splash Potion of Regeneration again, I think, is in order. And, so let's go take on that crazy Blaze over there. First off, let's limit his numbers and prevent reinforcements from, from coming in. Also, I really hope there's not a hole in this below me here. Okay, now, now this is where the, uh, we're having that regeneration thing is really coming in handy. Dang it. Well. Torches. I don't think there's anything here for him to actually set on fire that would be really bad. But I better not let him get inside because there might be books or wood or something. Oh, I should just let him blow up this guy. That would save me a lot of trouble. Anyway, oh, come on, Blaze. You guys are just constantly a pain in my butt. Oh, good, there's more of you around that way. And skeletons as well. Dang it, come on. Well, going through the front door still seems like a viable path. I'm really curious what's up in this building here, but I think, well... Dang it, there's gas spawners outside the uh, nether portal, which will be an inconvenient truth throughout here. 
University of Arcane and Chance. Okay, I can read that sign. So let's just grab that blaze rod off the ground there. As oh no, there's three of them. Okay. Every part of this is moderately inconvenient. Not terrible. Not terrible. I've seen terrible. I know terrible. This is not it. This is just a minor, minor inconvenience. Why don't we go underground? Nothing bad could possibly ever happen to us underground. 